Right, here's a quick video of my uh, Highland Nepenthe setup. I have a bunch of cool ones here. Um, mostly bought them all online. Um, I don't really feel like naming them, naming them all, but this lid he broke off my channel. It's got a funky mushroom growing in there. Um, I also got a dinosaur. <laughs> but uh, it's a Maxima Vogley. Show you some of my f my favorite ones here. This is a uh, um, a Robert Cantley times Placilia. This is my first one, which is a Bashinia. And that little picture you can see there on your right. That's my first picture. Um, it basically only had like two leaves. And I sunburned it in a plastic bag in the south window. Because I really didn't know what I was doing. And then I fell in love with the hobby. Um, what's the one back there? It's uh, Pediola times Berkey. That one's pretty cool. It's got a lot of uh, pictures going on it right now. Um, this is probably one of my favorite ones. That's a Campanella times Ventricosa. Huge pictures. That's a Bashinia times Glandilifer, I think it is. And it's got a cool purple one right there. It had some more, but, you know, they just take off and they die, whatever. Um, I got the, it was first, it was hard to set this up. Um, I had to figure out how to get the heat up. So I put a, a heater in there, if you could see. And uh, just a little bit of water, you know, to cover it. And that got the heat up. I got it. I could get it to about 80 degrees during the day. And it drops down to like 57, 58 at night. Shut everything off. A couple, couple of USB fans just to throw some air around in the little background. I got two T5s in there. One's a grow. One's a bloom. And I cut out these setup, these uh, plexiglass here in a 55-gallon tank. Uh, that's my setup. I hope you like it. Uh, if you have any advice or questions, hit me up. Thank you.